you know, marijuana, as you said, has been decriminalized in many states, yet at the federal level it remains illegal. How would you counsel someone who is a clearance holder but in a moment of weakness smoked a little or took marijuana for pain or anxiety? So uh, it's important to understand that the federal government considers marijuana to be a Schedule One drug. They don't. Um, I think everybody is kind of wondering if that's appropriate at this point, and I'm sure it's going to change in, in the near future. I'm, I'm really confident of that. But right now, the federal government considers it to be a Schedule One drug, so they're very serious about it. They don't really differentiate between medical marijuana or recreational marijuana to the federal government because they have to enforce the rule. Maybe they don't agree with it, but most of the people we deal with have to enforce the rule regardless of their opinion. And um, you know, to them, it's illegal. So it doesn't matter what you're doing or the reason you're doing it. Uh, and what they look at is they look at recency and frequency. So how recent is the use and how frequent is the use? If you're using marijuana um, just recreationally, every day you know for the past couple of years and you're applying for a security clearance this month and you say i'm going to stop they're probably not going to believe you if you're using marijuana for medicinal purposes even though they're going to tell you it's wrong but you're using it for medicinal purposes and you get to the point where you're applying for a security clearance and you say i have figured out something else that has worked i'm going through these therapies i'm doing these different treatments i'll no longer use marijuana i was only using it for medicinal purposes then you have a, a decent a decent chance of getting a security clearance. So um, I guess it would, my, my advice, it would depend on uh, the marijuana use, the reasons, the frequency, the recency. But my number one advice would be just to be honest because it's much more difficult to mitigate being dishonest than it is to mitigate marijuana use. 